So when you're going to make some jumper cables, or anytime you're cutting coax, you can try to do it with a knife, um, exacto knife or something. But it's going to be a mess as you try to cut the outer sheath and not cut the um, ground braid. It it just won't work very well. I mean, there's two things you have to cut here. You have to cut the outer sheath leave ground braid which you're going to fold back and then you're going to have to strip the inner conductor as well. So you really need one of of these strippers. It's got two sets of blades in it. Whether that's going to come out. Two sets of blades that can be set for different cutting depths. That one's going to cut the outer coax. That one's going to cut the inner conductor and you're going to put it on this wire and spin it. Now, to determine how deep that needs to be, it depends upon the connector you're soldering it or you're, that you're going to use it on. If it's one of these BNC's, then they have a insert that goes in them and of course the insert's going to come pretty much to the edge of this um, piece. So what you're doing is you're having the wire, the inner center conductor, go to the end of this and then this part's going to come the rest of the way up. So when you're doing your measurement, I look and see, well, where's that going to stop? And it's going to be about here. So I'm going to line that up, put my thumb about where the... Um, part that the braid is going to go on that I'm then going to clamp and I'll cut here. Once you spin that cutter around this wire it's going to end up creating two cuts. One that cuts the outer sheath just down to the braid. You can see the braid and then the end is going to have cut all the way through the should have cut through the center insulator it has. I just have to pull it off. Okay, after you've used your stripper you're going to pull back the braid from the center conductor insulator and then you're left with your center conductor sticking out and that's going to go over and through this little opening. You can see there's an opening in the center of the connector. So we're going to push that on you've pushed it on there's going to be some center conductor sticking out and that's what you want you're going to have to flow some solder down this center conductor into the the tip and then we're going to cut off the center conductor that's left sticking out down here the braid is going to be folded down over and I'm not going to do that till I've soldered the center conductor the braid is going to be folded down over this knurled section and then this sleeve is going to slide up and we're going to use our crimper to crimp it. After you've soldered that tip you shouldn't be able to pull this connector off. So I haven't crimped this yet and the reason I didn't crimp it is I want to make sure and be able to test the strength of uh, the solder that the solder is actually wicked down inside the connector and it's holding it via the center conductor. We're going to fold our braid over the knurled section of the connector, slide this collar up and we're going to crimp that. Now that it's crimped, it's a solid connection and I'm going to slide up a um, piece of heat shrink that I'll shrink over that just for cleanliness more than anything else. It's not helping hold it, but um, once I shrink that on then there won't be any sharp edges. Okay, and when we're done, the finished result with the uh, heat shrink attached. Now made a jumper that goes from BNC PL259. Um, so I don't have to use a bunch of adapters to connect. I've made two of these, and I don't have to use adapters now to connect to my Elecraft watt meter to my antenna switches.